and welcome to a new year. As we take a look back at our predictions for 2022, uh, we find that a lot of them came true. So if you'd like to take a look at what those predictions were, we're including a link here in the post below. Um, I think that for the most part, we are pretty accurate on, on those predictions. Um, the one thing that we didn't predict was how quickly interest rates would rise and how high they would go. And interest rates, I think, have had the single largest impact on our overall real estate market conditions, not only here, but across the country. Um, and really wasn't something I think that most people predicted, even economists or people that were making forecasts. So to this is this is the time of year, though, where I, I like to make my predictions for the year ahead so that a year from now we can look back and see whether we got it right. Um, so here are my predictions for 2023. First, I think that in the DC area, we're going to continue to see different markets have different conditions. We have some markets where inventory is very low, where multiple offers are still the norm. We have other markets where there's a ton of inventory and not seemingly not many buyers and prices are declining. So we really have a wide, wide range of conditions. And now we have a lot in between too um where the market conditions are kind of right in line with what we saw in 2019 which everybody remembers we did not think 2019 was a bad market so i think on average our market's pretty healthy and stable right now but we're going to continue to see a lot of variety um i think that higher price ranges will continue to experience low inventory and high buyer demand um, and lower price ranges will continue to be a buyer's market because i don't really see affordability improving anytime soon. I think that interest rates will stabilize and decline. I don't expect them to go below 5%, um, but I think they could get down to the mid fives. And I think that they will probably stay there for the foreseeable future. So that will kind of become our new normal. Um, and as we see interest rates come down, I think that we will see more buyers and sellers re-enter the market. I think one of the things that's holding people back from moving forward with their housing plans, whether it's buying or selling, is just the uncertainty and unpredictability. Um, and it's one of those things where if sellers aren't listing their home for sale, buyers you know, don't have much to buy, so that keeps our number of transactions pretty low. And I think it's the seller psychology side of things where if, we, if sellers perceive that we have stability, the rates aren't gonna shoot up as soon as they put their home on the market, um, they're going to be more likely to do so and that will get things moving forward a little bit more quickly. Um, I think that the overall number of homes that are bought and sold will increase but stay below 2021 levels. I think rents will continue to increase especially for non-luxury housing which I think has higher demand than luxury apartments. We have thousands and thousands of brand new luxury apartment units and not that many people maybe want to pay that price. Um, especially if you're saving up to buy. So I think rents will continue to increase, but not at the same rate as 2022. Um, for sellers, property condition is gonna continue to play a really large role in a seller's success. Um, when buyers have more options, sellers really need to do more to attract a buyer's attention, especially online in the pictures. So things like painting, staging, and decluttering are more important than ever. Um, last but not least, I think affordability is more of a challenge than ever for first time buyers, um, especially if you don't have equity in a property and you're looking at higher housing payments. Um, I think buyers should buy when they can buy. Um, I think waiting isn't going to increase the affordability necessarily. Um, if a buyer can move forward with a purchase at current interest rates, they are going to be getting a better price than if they wait. So while rates might come down, prices will go up and you can always refinance the rate, but the price you have is the price you have. Um, so these are my predictions. I kind of can't wait for a year from now to go back and look at, at what's happened. Um, but if you have any questions at all about how the specifics of these or how they might impact you and your housing decisions, please don't hesitate to reach out.